To begin, open a new document in InDesign of the usual A4 size. Set both ruler units to millimeters. Now, this is very important as the CD on body will be made with exact measurements so it fits the CD correctly. Not a millimeter out of disk. The shape of the CD will need some creativity with text. But first, we need a CD body, the CD outline. Use the ellipse tool to create a circle. Watch how the dimensions are set. Lock the width height buttons so both will change together. Here, follow the universal standard for DVD and CD artwork specifications. Diameter is 118 mm and the inner non-printable area is 23 mm. So, make the width 118 mm for the body. The circle outline doesn't have color yet. Let's color it. Choose swatches from the menu on the right. Another way is, click Windows in the main menu bar at the top and choose swatches. The shortcut to open swatches is by pressing F5. Let's give the CD body a black outline. See these two boxes here? The larger one is for the interior space of the shape selected. This smaller box is for the shape's outline. Select outline and give it color black. Can't see the black outline? Click the preview. Now, make a copy of this circle for the CD's central hole. The standard diameter of the central hole is 22.5 mm. To align both the circles, drop down windows from the main menu, go to objects and layout and align. For the shortcut to open the align objects dialog box, press shift and F7 together. Select the alignment needed. There. In the same dialog box, click Pathfinder. The disk looks so blank. Let's add background color, but only faintly a tint. Select the correct box, then the color. Now, this is important. For CD on body, the color opacity of a tint should never be less than 15% as cracks appear in the color on printing. This CD is for Relax Travels Film on their services. They want their logo on the CD prominently. I have the logo as a JPEG file. Select it and place it on the disk. There. Pretty logo, isn't it? Placing is important. Most of the logo should be seen and its shape must align with the shape of the CD. Let's play a little. Now it looks beautiful, doesn't it? I'm sure you would like the text in the same shape. This is the creative text I said you would learn. Let's do it. Use the pen tool to make a reference path.
Then select the text option and underline. Set the font and increase the size. How beautifully it travels the path. Let's align it to the wave in the logo. Now for the address. Select text and we'll type this straight and select a font that looks well with the logo font. This isn't looking neat. From the main menu, select Type and select Paragraph in the dialog box. Make it centered. Watch how I fit the frame to the content. Did you note the shortcut for it? Good. Let's play with the placing the text. Turn it a little. Change the size. Hmm, seems okay. Select the entire design including the CD and group it by pressing Ctrl G. Sometimes the CD is printed only up to the mirror band and not right till the center hole. So the central on printable area will be larger. Let's make another CD on body. Ready? Now use the same steps for making the CD body. Only the central circle now would be 40 mm. CD done. Place the logo. Because of the larger central hole, we need to place it differently. Let's play. This isn't working. Let's resize some more. I need to place it cleverly so most of the logo is seen. Got it. Create a path for the text. See how the path can be shifted. The curve can be changed by the handles. The text can be copied from above and fitted in the space. Seems done. But what about the background? 
Select the larger circle, then the box for filling the shape and a different color this time. Watch closely as I change the color of the text. Got it! Now for the address line, ungroup the text and design frames in the CD above, copy the address text and paste. Where did it go? No need to panic. It got pasted behind the background. Right click the selection, pick arrange, then bring to front. There it is. Group all the frames in each option so they won't be accidentally shifted. Select all the frames, right click the selection, choose Group. I could have also pressed Ctrl G after selecting. Now, the size of the artwork needs to be written. So the printer makes no mistake. Watch how it's done. Alignment of the lines and text is important here. The sizes of the outer and inner circle need to be written and aligned. Use the guidelines to be exact. Press Preview to see the result. Happy with the result? So, let's save it in the CD on body folder as an InDesign document. This also needs to be exported as a PDF file. Make sure High Quality Print option is selected in Adobe PDF preset. Let's see what the PDF looks like. It's not grainy. The CD on body artwork is complete. 